Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. I'm going to read just a couple of verses at the very beginning of Proverbs chapter 3 this morning. Verse 1 and 2 say this, My son, forget not my law, but that let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. And of course, the admonition is to remember the law of the Lord and remember the commandments of God. But then there's a benefit that's found there in verse 2, where the Bible says, for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. And that's very interesting because one could think that length of days and long life mean the same thing, but that would be needlessly repetitious. And there is more to this statement than is immediately seen. Length of days and long life, of course, long life means a long life. But length of days has to do with the days from sunrise to sunset seeming to be longer. And what that implies is that a person is not dreading life as though, wow, I'll be glad when this day is over. But rather, they're enjoying their life and they experience full days and days that are filled with fulfillment and enjoyment. And they are blessed days. And this is because this person determines not to forget, not to cast aside, not to set aside the principles, the commandments of the Lord, but instead observes the truth of God's word. And as a result, they have joyful days and long life and peace. They have peace in their heart. And this could speak of the night times, where when a person pillows his or her head at night, there's peace there because they're right with the Lord, because they have submitted to his truths. What a great benefit from just seeking the Lord and obeying God for length of days and long life and peace, the Bible says, will be added to the person who determines to obey and follow the truths of God's word. Let me read verse one again for you. My son, forget not my law, let, but let thine heart keep my commandments. And of course, he was being led by the Spirit of God. King Solomon was being led by the Spirit of God to say and write what he wrote, to teach his son what he taught his son. And he said, this will be the benefit of it. You will enjoy long days, length of days, long life and peace. You'll be able to be a real beneficiary of the great blessings of God as a result of submitting to his truth. And it's true today as well. People who enjoy their life, people who are blessed, people who have a long and fulfilling life, people who have peace in their heart are the people who are not stressed and fighting against God, but who are submitting to the Lord and they're intent upon obeying his commandments. He gives a good life to those people. Be one of those. God bless you today.